On the medical watch, the FDA gives the nod for an over-the-counter birth control pill. Medical reporter Dina Baer has details and some doctor's concerns. This particular pill formulation has been around since 1973, so doctors know how it works, how well, and the risks. Now they're celebrating the accessibility of this contraception and the step forward for reproductive rights. But they're raising the red flag when it comes to access without expert advice. I think it's very important that patients have options and access. So this has been a long time coming. Northwestern OBGYN Dr. Julie Levitt is smiling today after learning the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved OPIL, a norgestrel tablet for birth control. It's the same as our mini pill by prescription, so progesterone only. You take it every day. It's important that it's taken at the same time every day. Compliance is the key to efficacy. The pill, taken properly, is 93% effective at preventing pregnancy. There is a small chance that it would not provide them good contraception. They still could become pregnant, especially if it isn't taken properly. And there's a chance for side effects. You could have some irregular bleeding. You could have a little bit of acne. Uh, you also could have a little bit of bloating or a little bit of headache. It just depends on how you tolerate it. But for the most part, it's very easily taken. There is no age restriction on who can purchase the pill. So doctors want to make sure women and teens have the knowledge as well as the power. And I want patients to feel confident in using this method, but I also want them to know that they should seek counsel from their physicians. They should do a follow-up visit. Even though the pill does not contain estrogen, the FDA says it should not be taken by women with a history of breast cancer or any other cancers. But when it comes to a common birth control pill complication, this one hormone option is safer. This pill is progesterone only, so it is lacking the estrogen component that other combination birth control pills have. So this one does not have that increase in blood clot formation. The American Medical Association applauds the FDA decision. Currently in the U.S., about 3 million pregnancies are unintended. Better access to birth control may help. But the maker of O-Pill, Perigo Pharma, says it will likely not be available until 2024. And still no word on how much it will cost. Back to you.